Now, there's another point in the landscape, as I alluded to before, where we could do this, uh, where we could do the water catchment, but it's not always possible. And that is in the saddle of the landscape. So in this point here, we mark where our key point is and we could potentially build a pond right in there. Now, typically you'd say, well, that not going to get any water to that because there's only a small amount of catchment area. Very small, actually. Catchment area that's coming to that. So we have to increase that. Now, there's two ways that that can happen. One is that we can have a road along our ridge, which is typically a place where we would put our roads, like a skyline road. Another way is that we might um, actually put some drains around the slope that bring the water to here. Provided, of course, it's not too steep. I mean, this is not a, not a pond, for, uh, not a situation that we'd be able to do in it. Um, everywhere because often the saddles are too steep or the surrounding hills are too steep or whatever so you'll just have to look at that key points are the same not every key point in the landscape is really a possible pond site because some are too so small um, or you you mightn't have enough catchment to bring the water in from elsewhere you've only um, so, so there's lots of lots of investigation that one would need to do so if we were to put say we had that road along here that road's going to come and then I would have it actually run across the wall of the pond. Now, what that, the good thing about roads are that they're 60 to 90% to of the water that falls on a road will actually run off. Only about on a landscape, you'll only get 5 to 20% of the water that hits the landscape will run off. With the exception of when you've got these things. When you've got rocks, rocks are in a, particularly in a dry land landscape, are very, very useful to you in order to be able to um, harvest water and um, use them as a, you know, yeah, you can. You can, um, like for this one here, we could put a little channel around the base of that one and bring it into there, right? So we'd catch the amount of water that was falling off the back bring it around to here, then that would run down the gutter of the road and into this pond. We could then put a pipe in the bottom of this one or a siphon over the top. And then that, let's assume that this is all a nice um, slope that's say less than 30 degrees. Um, then we could, we could traverse that slope um, quite safely with livestock, right? And so that then would provide all of the water that we'd need for the livestock, either for irrigation or for drinking water. So you'd be able to gravity feed all of your stock troughs. 